so it's May the 26th. Morning sometime. I didn't sleep great, uh, but okay. I got seven hours, 18 minutes sleep. Um, it's 5.41 and it was kind of choppy there for a while. Like I, I was up at 3.30 and I tried to get back to sleep. But I don't know. Maybe I got some more. I didn't pay attention. So, it hasn't started raining yet, and I'm really hoping it does rain, because um, I'm going to be canning. I've decided I'm going to start, and I'm first I'm going to boil a couple pots of big pots of water um, to make sweet tea, with the green tea, uh, to add to my kombucha jars. So I have another three kombucha jars to use up, and uh, so I'm, I'm going to start some new scobies into the three new jars. And um, because really now is the time to, that I enjoy drinking kombucha. The summer, the hot summer days, um, the, the tanginess of the kombucha is great. Drinking, I mean, it's basically iced tea, right? Just with the probiotic boost. Um, so it's perfect for summer. Perfect. So I really have to make sure I have plenty of kombucha supplies going so that I can start drinking that with my meals. And yeah, because I don't drink very much of it in the winter because it's cold. anyway. But what I'm going to make with the slow cookers today, which why I really want the house to keep cool today, is I'm making um, a couple recipes using, I don't know how to pronounce this, za'atar maybe? Um, because I got uh, a recipe here from it was off of, you know, that great course that I watched. Uh, what was it called? Did I write it down? Well, I wrote the name of it down here somewhere, but I don't know where it is offhand. Um, so anyway, so I I have um, a recipe for zatar, and it calls for a quarter cup of sumac, two tablespoons of thyme, one tablespoon sesame seeds, two tablespoons marjoram, two tablespoons oregano, one teaspoon of salt. So, um, since I was so thrilled with both of the sumac dishes that I made yesterday, and they were very different. I mean, one was a salad, um, but it didn't have to be. I mean, I had put the sumac in the dressing, the tahini kind of dressing that I made. So, I mean, I might decide to put that, drizzle that on a stir fry or whatever, right? Um, that'll be really a good thing to add to my collection of recipes, whatever. And um, then the other dish that I made with sumac was completely different, completely different flavors. Like that one was more Mediterranean kind of flavors than this, than the, well, I guess they were both sort of Mediterranean flavors, but very different flavors. Like the one had cumin and tahini and the other had uh, basil with the sumac. So very different flavor combinations. And both were awesome. Uh, James was thrilled with that gnocchi kind of pasta, the dish that I made with the, the sumac and it, and so was I. It was great. And simple to make. I mean, what, if you're just chopping up your vegetables in front of the TV while you're watching TV, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make, uh, I've already cut up what I want to cut up with the food processor, the onions and the bell peppers for the dish which I'm going to make 
with the Zartar. Um, but I still, I'm going to cut up a bunch of tomatoes and I'm just going to slice cherry tomatoes in half, right? And take the seeds out. So that'll take me a little bit of time, like hours. And um, so that's a, a good thing to do while watching a movie. So I have put something in the machine. Something with David Arquette. It'll just be something to keep me from going completely bored while chopping up tomatoes. Um, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to put the sesame seeds maybe right in the dish. I think we'll see. Um, or maybe I'll just add some on top at the end too when serving. But. Um, I'm going to use black sesame seeds, not regular sesame seeds. I've decided that. Okay, yeah, I already had my gross juice this morning. And it was gross, as usual. It sure is a beautiful. Perfect, perfect outdoor temperatures. Like it was, it was hot yesterday, and it's been hot like in the peak hours. You know. But um, if you're just relaxing and you try to stay out of the sun, or you like at least just walking and out of the sun every now and then, you know, in the heat of the weather like that, that's that's just fine. Working in it, it's not fun. But if you don't have to, then just don't don't work at the peak hours. And then that's what I do when I garden at home. I I don't work in the post on like that. So yeah, there's a lot of different spice combinations I want to try that I've never tried before, but I'll get to them. But today, I will get to try za'atar. And I mean, I don't know, whenever I try things, like I try different, how I tried the completely different kind of flavor combinations with the sumac, just to see, right? Because you might try something new and you think, oh, I hate this new spice, whatever this is, that you're not familiar with before. But maybe you just hated it that one way. So try it a completely different way and maybe you love it. But it turned out that I loved it both ways. But, um, I mean, this using this spice combination, I don't have a recipe for what to do with it. I haven't planned for that. What I've planned for is I have a lot of bell peppers and tomatoes to use up. That's what I plan for. So um, I'm just going to try it with those things because I have those things to use up anyway. So if it doesn't work out, that's okay. I'll just look for different recipes with this um, spice combination and maybe one day I'll love it if I don't love it today. But, so. Yeah, and if you do things like cooking things, like I don't actually enjoy, who enjoys chopping up vegetables? Nobody. Um, I mean, it's work. But 
it's work that you should really do so that you can eat healthy, so that you can be a healthier person and whatever, enjoy life. Um, so, I mean, if you do those kind of work things while watching TV, if you can, like all sorts of, like I'm going to be making kimchi in a, a couple days from now. It's not like the hot peppers and cabbage are going to go bad by the time I get to them. Anyway, so um, I'm going to be making kimchi. You know, crunching down the cabbage with the with your hands. It's uh, It would be boring and seem to take forever. It really doesn't take very long. I've filmed the whole process of, I think, making sauerkraut, which is exactly the same. Um, so it it only takes a matter of minutes, but really, if you're standing in the kitchen doing that, that would be horrible. Or at least for me. I don't enjoy cooking. I enjoy eating. Um, so, good food, not gross food. Um, so I cook, so that I can enjoy eating. <laughs> That's not it. But if you do the cooking stuff as much as possible, while doing something that doesn't suck so bad, like watching a movie, then it almost makes it seem like you're just watching a movie and you're not doing work. And But you are. You're getting work done. And you're doing it while watching a movie. So why not get work done while you're watching a movie all the time? So anytime you want to watch a movie, I, I don't even understand how cinemas are still in business. You know, you go, go out to a movie theater to watch a movie, it's ridiculous. You can get them from your library for free. And then you sit at home and you get work done while you're watching the movie. It's a good, good thing to do. And the time spent going out to the cinema, you can go hiking. It's way better. you'd have to like put together a bunch of cinema times to hike because it, the hiking will take you a whole day. At least. That's what it's all about. I'm trying to find time for the hiking. And money. I mean, save up all those cinema trips. And that's expensive. I mean, I've went to the movies before, and you get to the box office, and, and they're like $20 or whatever to get in, and you're like, what? $20 to see your stupid movie? Like, what do you have, vibrating seats for me or something that heat up and give me a massage? Ridiculous. Um, you, can, you can set that up at home. Set that up at home. Some massage chair in front of your TV. And I've never been to a cinema that has that, by the way. Even when I've paid twenty dollars to go in, ridiculous. Don't do it. You, some, you know, people have this idea of um, dates being like date night. You have this like cookie cutter date night that's um, dinner and a movie. And you got to go out to dinner. Um, go out to a movie, or somehow you're gonna look cheap to your date or something I don't know or maybe anyway do something better with your time than dinner in a movie think be, be creative about what you're gonna do and make it never dinner in a movie for a date because that's ridiculous somebody else's cookie cutter date night for your dates. Come on. Your dates. Figure out what, I mean, what your combined interests are and what would be best for you to, I mean, uh, anyway. Anyway, okay, I better get to work because my coffee's done and time's a-wasting.